We got the gauntlet out today. I have two torso targets downrange. I'm not sure the exact distance. I know they're at least 100 yards. So I'll just say at least 100 yards. We're gonna do a group on them with the gauntlet. I'm just gonna do, we'll do two mags on one steel and then we'll do two mags on the other. Kind of dial in on the first one and then uh, we'll do like torso shots. I'm gonna aim for the bolts on them so I have like a reference point. Uh, and then we'll do headshots. After this, in the next video, I got a bunch of hard-boiled eggs. I think there's like 25 or so. After we're setting in with the torsos, I'm going to do another video. Um, and we're just going to... I want to see if I can hit all 25 with the, you know, 25 out of 28. Because I have 28 shots, so I get three misses. And I figure... Um, once we get sighted in on these torsos, I should be pretty... I just have to adjust the elevation a little bit, and we should be good to go. But it should be fun, because the gauntlet's dead on. I got my FX pellets. It's not windy right now, so conditions are perfect. All right, let's go. All right, we're at at least 100 yards with the gauntlet 230 cal. I'm going to aim at that right target first. We're going to aim on the bolt and just see where it lands. I'm going to group that and then correct it and aim for the head. One mag in each spot. It's so low. Actually, you know what? Let me sight this in. That's, oh, hold on a second. First things first. I'm going to set these scope rings to zero. And then I can get back to my uh, know your limit challenge without having to worry about anything. All right, now with this scope, I should be able to pretty much get a ballpark, or pretty much dead on. I'm gonna aim back in the bolt, and I'm just gonna look at the the scope layout and see how far I need to go up. So we're at two and a half. Just a little, I'm gonna go two to the right. I'm gonna aim for that bolt, which should be relatively close. If I can do it too. Not bad, right? Wow. I pulled that a little bit. Not too shabby. All right, headshots. <sighs> We're not going to talk about that. See it just going. That was pretty cool from my perspective. Wow. 
Wow. I kind of, if you're wondering what that noise that kicked on, my AC kicked on, it's hot as hell. It should go off any second. Um, the grouping is, it's like a 22, so. I just haven't done it at this distance so far, so it's like kind of surprising to me still, because I'm, you know, firsthand doing it. Let's move on to the next target. Fresh paint. We'll aim at the bolt. We're a little right, but that's a pretty damn good group. I'm still just aiming at the bolt. I'm not going to adjust. I'm just going to finish my group. Move to the head. I think I made like a little mini stealth bomber down there. That's what it looks like from here. <laughs> Even with a 16x scope, it's not that close looking, I guess. All right, I said I was going to adjust the scope. We're going to go to the left. Same for the head. Getting like weird glare. We're like very low and right. I'm just gonna keep aiming for the same spot though. I don't know why my point of impact is shifting. I can see it going to the right. All right, last shot. Nice, that was a bit better. All right, so up next we got eggs. We got hard boiled eggs. We got the egg challenge, 25 of them. I'm gonna see if I can get them in 28 shots. I gotta reload and whatnot. It's gonna be another video, so I guess I'll see you then. Okay, so as expected, the right one is a little bit of a mess, but I don't know if you could see this in the camera before, but I have my little stealth bomber. So if you're a phone at this distance, you're in trouble.